Okay, in this video we're going to um, film the process of tearing down uh, an old welder for scrap. This is a big old three phase welder and uh, I can't use it. I've been trying to sell it. Nobody's been offering to buy it. So um, we're going to take it apart for the scrap and I'm going to build something of it. I'm thinking about maybe making it into a cabinet or a welding table, something. I'm not sure, but I've undone some of the bolts. You can take the top off. Taking the far side off. Take this side off. Just a couple bolts on each side, and this panel will come off. But I'll flip the camera around to the other side so you can see what it looks like over there. Alright, we've got that welder peeled down to the three main transformers here. The transformer bar that it's all uh, wound around is actually welded in the bottom of this. Um, I spared you the time watching uh, you grind off all the mounts. There's the steel mounts for this electrical panel and this big fuse. And the steel mounts for that transformer there. This honking big one over here, double coil, it was welded in here. So I, uh, I pried the one, one weld off and just peeled it right out of there. So that came out easy. Clean it up so it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna put the lid back on this thing and I, I probably put one of those sides back on and I'll bolt it on there nice, nice and tight. And then, I'm going to weld a rack off of here, a big uh, steel grate for a welding table. I can attach my ground to it and then any sparks will drop through and just sit on top of the metal uh, lid of the, the welder there. And then underneath here, I'll be able to keep my uh, spare gloves, tips, all my rod. I've got a shelf of keeping the rod that I use most of the time and I've got tons more rod, welding rods, so keep that, spare spools for the big Maybe put a shelf in there so I can uh, stack some stuff. But uh, that'd be a cool, cool little uh, little table. I'll get rid of my island in the middle of my shop here and we'll put this sucker in there for my welding table. And, and I think it'll look pretty good. But I'll get to uh, these welds here. I had Adam with my air hammer and it doesn't touch them. And I can't quite get my grinder in there. So I'm going to fire up my gas axe and uh, we'll, we'll burn them out of there. Uh, I'll set that up and come back.
Grab this in. Thing of beauty. All right, a little cold outside. You can see my breath here. This is uh, that that welder looks all cleaned out. Took the faceplate off, took all the gauges and everything off. Took everything off. I like this hook for lifting, so we're going to leave that on. And that's going to be the, the piece that I weld my plate to for my welding table. And it's got a nice steel C-channel bottom and those heavy caster wheels, so this will make a decent little table and a cabinet underneath. So for my parts, big old transformers, bus bars, I got some nice cables here. They got loops on each end. These will be used for a winch on a truck or something someday. Those will be useful. I'll keep them. Oh, these massive bus bars. It's just unbelievable how big this welder was. I have absolutely no, I can't, I couldn't even run it. I don't even know anybody with three phase power that doesn't already have a major welder. So this is surplus to the needs. We got all this cable here that come off of it. It's hardwired into a wall somewhere. It's got to be 50, 60 feet of cable. We'll sell that. And at some point I'm going to take apart these transformers, probably a different video. I think they're welded together. And then slide all that copper off. Actually, I think this one's aluminum. I probably won't even bust with this one. So when I was cutting into it, it's really light and aluminum-y. Aluminum looking. It's got a copper coating on the outside. It looks looks like copper on the outside, but when you cut into the wire, it looks like aluminum. So we'll open it up and see. Maybe maybe there's some copper in there. But I think the the big chunk's aluminum. But these other smaller ones, they're all copper. This thing's got copper plates. If you pull the insulators out, two big copper straps, real interesting stuff. They'll take it apart in another video. And uh, the fan motor, all these old switches, the fuse, the remote lead. Uh, oh, the big old rheostat down there for temperature control on off switch. I'm going to save all this stuff and probably list it on eBay and put them up 20 bucks a piece or you know maybe if you get the whole instrument cluster for 30 or not instrument cluster but you know all this stuff that come off the control. There's the faceplate for the rheostat. That's all got to be worth something to somebody that needs one. If somebody else's burns out they can they can have mine. But uh, well, I'll go ahead and I'll outfit this thing. I'll put the top and, and at least one of the sides, I think, back on. We'll put the top on and see what that looks like first. And then uh, decide what we're going to do from there. All right, I messed around with this for uh, a few hours last night, and this is what I come up with. Um, got the card all gutted out. Got room for my uh, welding rods I use the most. Uh, hat there, helmet. Different accessories for the welding. I'm thinking maybe I might put a little shelf up about here and I can maybe slide my gloves up top or uh, yeah, figure something out. Up top here we've got this uh, pulling spot for uh, putting a hook through. I'm going to weld my grate on there. I'm going to use a, like maybe a three quarter inch, one inch. Uh, steel flat bar grate like you'd have on a catwalk and it'll have a three by two foot square that's what the dimension of the top of this is and then as i'm welding the sparks that fall through will just land on this instead of uh, going all over the place uh, under the floor that would, or the contents of my storage underneath i left the back on and it's all screwed in there so it's real good and rigid you, you know it doesn't doesn't twist at all I've got these bolts even into the centerpiece, so it's it's all hooked together. So that's going to make a nice little table. It's a perfect height for me. It's you know it's uh, just below my crotch. So the stuff that came out of the inside, the spot for your remote, these different switches, the on-off switch, especially the rheostat, and uh, this 
chunk of uh, board here, you know, something like that blue on somebody else's welder, they, they'd have a hard time getting replacement parts. So I'm going to throw those up on eBay, I think. Maybe even that fan, it's a 230 volt, 1.3 amp fan. So, you know, if a person needs one, maybe that'll work out for them. Other than that, there's a bunch of copper. And then these have got a bunch of solar panels. So these cables, if I don't use them to hook up a winch, I might shorten them so that they're, uh, where is it? So that they're like this and I can stack batteries and sequence or parallel or sequentially. And so, you know, I might be able to sell a few things. I'll be able to save a few bucks, shorten these cables up for a solar power system in the future. And all in all, it worked out pretty good. So we're going to start on my next video here. We're taking these transformers apart and seeing what exactly they're made out of. Well, if this video is of any use to you guys, feel free to like the video, share it, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.